This is focused upon the need for there to be much swifter yeah. justice. Now, I, I think that's a very laudable thing. I think the immediacy of punishment can really hit home to the, to the offender much more powerfully uh, what it is that they've done and the consequences to society of what they've done. And, and I think, you know, using the probation service to, to do more immediate action, I think, could have a real impact on many communities. But you want to get these, these, these yobs sorted out in 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Where's the police officers to capture the yob? And who's going to tell the police about yeah. what the yobs are up to? There's not enough CCTV in Britain for yeah. all the yobbery. Yeah. Well, look, I, I think CCTV does help us hugely, but there are two things here. I think, one, for people who are convicted of a crime, the probation service has been expanded. I expanded it when I was Justice Secretary in order to deal with this type of offending. And secondly, to make sure that um, when we're using these uh, what we call restorative justice me methods, that the victims are happy as well. It's really important that we make sure that whilst I want these people to pay back to society, the victims of crime feel that that's a just punishment. Mm. You know, if, it, if, they, if they don't feel it's a just punishment, then we've got a problem. How much call has that actually been from the victims of crime to get involved in how criminals are punished? Uh, we all want these things tackled, mm. obviously, mm. but I want justice to be seen to be carried out, but I don't necessarily feel like yeah. I had the right yeah. to say how someone is punished. Yeah, well, I think that's a really good question. I, th I think it depends on the victim and the crime. There are many victims of crime I've met over the years, including victims of some of the most serious crimes mm. that want a degree of control. Uh, and I've certainly been very moved by conversations I've had even with victims of sexual crimes who felt that meeting the perpetrator has given them a sense of control once again. However, I would say this, unless the victim wants it to happen, it shouldn't happen. This should be victim-led, in my opinion. Uh, and whilst I think, you know, the, the lower level, I'll call it lower level, but it does have an impact on our communities, mm. crimes could be dealt with more in a restorative justice way, we just need to be careful to make sure that we don't use this as some sort of blanket approach to avoid what otherwise would be a proper process in court uh, with a conviction uh, and, a, and a sentence. I'm quite pleased that you brought up the, the sexual crime aspect here, because only last week we heard in the Casey report that rape is, is pretty mm. much legal in London now because, you know, it's not being prosecuted. Women are, aren't even coming forward anymore because they don't think enough action is taken. So we don't have enough police officers to cover that properly and get rapists. So how is it actually going to work that we're going to get somebody who's, who's graffitiing a wall? Mm. Well, where's, where's the staff coming from to do this? Well, I, I think the probation service has a role to play. I think working together, police and probation officers working together, community and neighbourhood officers as well, working together can uh, achieve that sort of coverage. But when it comes to serious sexual offending, you know, I, I produced the rape review, I got that moving. We're seeing now an improvement in the number of prosecutions, but there are still, mm. there's still a huge gap between the number of women who are coming forward with mm. complaints and the actual end outcome. And that is something we've got to try and close and also give women also uh, an opportunity to have other ways to resolve the issue too. Not all women want to take it through the criminal justice process. We need to respect that and we need to make sure that in whatever way is appropriate for that victim, their voice should be heard.